My name is Matt Embry. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm fighting Robin Van Roosmalen and we're fighting for the Glory World title. And this is the biggest fight in the world to me. This is definitely the biggest opportunity I ever had and I'm looking forward to winning it. My advantage lies in my intelligence. I feel like I'm a smarter fighter. I feel like aside from the physical advantages, I'm taller, I have reach. I just feel like I'm a more technical and smart fighter. Robin's a really strong fighter. He's very aggressive. He uses a lot of pressure. And that's, I think, how he breaks most opponents. But if you see, I feel like all the top Muay Thai fighters he's fought, he's lost to. And, and, and it's because people fight him at his style. He just happens to be the best at that style. But I'm not the style that he's looking forward to fighting against. I'm something different. I'm not going to fight him like everybody else fights him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick him apart. And obviously, I, I know I got the power to put him away as well, right? But good fighters block, great fighters make you miss. That's where the difference is going to lie. I want to outclass him, and I want to finish him too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him feel inferior with his offense. And then I'm going to break him mentally, and hopefully I'll put him away after. I feel like... Uh, for those who know me and where, the, where I come from, my style of training originally was completely power-based. You know, a lot of the, the, the Muay Thai that we were, we were doing was all about power and a lot of physical strength. The training was like, it was intense, you know? Lots of uh, push-ups, sit-ups, chin-ups too. It wasn't just like pads and smashing, but we did a lot of uh, physicality, you know? Like strength is a strong virtue in that camp. So those years of building that into my body, I feel like, you know, gave me that power. Yeah. I feel like I hit the hardest in this division, and not only the hardest, but the most precise. And when I, when I, when I put it on these guys, I feel like they're going to sleep, and uh, they're not going to want to open up because they're going to get exposed. Matt Embry is all about the art of fighting. You guys are going to see what I practice. That's my philosophy, and philosophy isn't just meant to be spoke about. It's meant to be embodied, you know? Um, and the art of fighting is fluid. There's many ways to win a fight. There's not too many rules. So everybody's just piecing together the puzzle and what you guys are gonna see is my interpretation of fighting. And, and uh, it's, it, it's nothing personal in the ring, it's warfare. You're my enemy. I'm trying to kill you, right? Like, yeah, Chikadze said he's got a problem with me and uh, obviously he's holding feelings because I banged him out last time. And so if he wants, he can get banged out again. Anytime, any place. You know? He was trying to turn it up and I put him down. I said, That's what's up, boy. You already know. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, he, after though, it's all about respect for me. You know, I went and I shook his hand after I told him I got respect for you. But I mean, if he takes it personal, then so what? He can get banged out again. It's my art. And that's the art of fighting. You know, there's a saying is like, May all of your goals in life be achieved but one because once you have them all you stop hunger and you stop living for something you stop you know for me it's about the grind that's what I take meaning from so yeah I mean I'm happy with life I'm very content with where it's at this I'm just doing what I love to do and as soon as you knock one guy down the next one's coming up and it's not just about fighting but it's it's in life you know and so you have to you know this is the strenuous life and that's what I draw meaning from I mean sure I've been hit before but I've never been to the point where I lose all, you know, all, all thought and focus. I stay focused in there. I know regardless, he hit me, but I'm obviously trying to hit him back. I go in there with the plan from the get-go to damage him, you know. He doesn't need to hit me for me to, to know what I got to do, you know. And I don't plan on getting zinged like that and, and put into a place where I lose all thought, you know. You lose your brain, then you start to lose the war. So I keep my, I keep my composure, keep my head. Amidst the turmoil of events, do not lose your presence of mind. It's from the 33 Strategies of War by Robert Greene.